friends, I'm going to talk to you today about mobile home bathtubs. Quite often, most of the time, they're not 60 inch, which is the normal bathtub length from one end to the other, but they're 54, and that's to save space in the square footage and, and any number of other reasons, maybe even the cost. And they're a plastic tub, and underneath, instead of being very strong thickness, they're real thin. And they put foam on the bottom to support the bottom and give it strength. So therefore the floor is actually what gives the strength to that thin tub. And so people will call me up and say, hey, how do I fix my plastic tub? It's got cracks in the bottom of it. And I've tried passion, I just can't. Well, what has happened is the drain or the faucet itself has leaked underneath there and the floor is soft. Now that foam is not got anything to support it and it's breaking the tub when you stand on it. So the only way to fix that is to pull the tub out. When you pull the tub out, you'll probably find that this is a, a bad floor and you have to put a new tub in. I suggest you get a fiberglass tub and they do make them to fit uh, mobile homes. They'll be 54, not 60. If you want to use a mobile a house type in a mobile home, you'll have to move the wall one or the other four inches more. 56 is not, you know, going to, if 60 inch tub is not going to fit in a 56 inch hole. So it is a little bit of an ordeal, but it can be done. So this particular case, we're going to take out everything and put in a better fiberglass tub, a heavier duty, which I'll show you later. Thank you. This is the bathroom on the other side. The access panel might not be obvious, but if you notice these little clips that go over top of the screws, so that kind of hides it. This whole panel has to come out and the plumbing will be behind that, and that's what we're gonna do next.